So the first thing that you can use this tool for is to identify the most searched terms. You can do that now directly from Amazon. You don't have to depend on any third party tools. So let me tell you something. This is the first time you're hearing about this. You will not find any videos about this tool on YouTube. Therefore, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button after you watch this video and subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials on this and you want the best and the first hand information about your private label business. All right, so with, without any further ado, let's get into my laptop and let me just open up the presentation and start this right away. All right, folks, so right now I'm on my computer screen and this is the option that you will start seeing in your Seller Central dashboard. As soon as you land inside your Seller Central dashboard after you log in, you will start seeing this option, All right? So let me just first walk you through how can you leverage your Amazon FBA business using this tool, All right? So the first thing that you can use for this tool for is to identify the most searched terms for your search keyword, all right? You can do that now directly from Amazon. You don't have to depend on any third party tools. You don't have to depend on Jungle Scout, AMZ Scout, Helium 10. You can actually just log into your search uh, seller central dashboard and access this data directly from Amazon, all right? The second way you can use this uh, tool is for understanding which listings, all right, which listings are getting the maximum number of clicks. So for example, let's imagine that you were uh, trying to figure out the market for garlic press, all right? So when you search for garlic press, you will see a bunch of listings on your uh, search results page on amazon.com. And uh, now you can actually identify which listings of all of those listings are getting the maximum number of clicks, all right? So the third way you can use this tool is even better. You can also now identify which garlic press listings are getting the most number of conversions after people search for garlic press. All right, so how killer is that? You can actually just look at the best listings which are getting the best clicks. Then you can start understanding why are they getting the best clicks. Then you can also figure out which listings are getting the maximum number of conversions. And then you can reverse engineer and understand why would they getting be the maximum number of conversions therefore improving upon your own listing, right? So that is an incredible, incredible data that Amazon is now providing to you firsthand and you don't have to depend on any third party softwares. All right, so how do you access this brand anal analytics dashboard? The way you access this is by hovering over your reports tab inside your Seller Central and you will start seeing this option. If you get access to it, it will say brand analytics. When you click on that, this will be the screen that will open up on your laptop. And let me just walk you through the screen first and then we'll dive into understanding how do you make sense of the data that you're seeing on the screen. All right, so as soon as this page opens up, you will see this default table pops up on your screen, all right? So this is basically Amazon showing you the top 1.4 million search terms that are being searched on Amazon right now. Now you can change the time over here, the time frame over here to from a week to a month to a year and you can select a particular date range you want to do your analysis for. How critical that is. So uh, it's pretty obvious. If you look at the first few search terms right now, it's all about iPhone 11 case, iPhone charger, Halloween, because Halloween is just around the corner. iPhone is popping up on the first rank in terms of this, in terms of the search terms that are being searched on Amazon right now, because uh, people are buying a lot of iPhones. Apple just came out with their new model and therefore people are actually looking for iPhone 11 cases. So the data that you see over here is even backed by the market trends. And this is the best way to understand the market right now and understand what's going on inside of Amazon. All right. So before we move further, let me just tell you that this feature is not available uh, to all of the sellers who are registered on Seller Central. It's only available to a few sellers who have access to this feature who have registered their brands in brand registry, all right? So Amazon is just trying to tell you that. Let's also look at the definition of brand analytics feature as per Amazon. So brand analytics is a feature that contains valuable insights to empower brand owners to make informed strategic decisions about their product portfolio and marketing and advertising activities, all right? So you, as I already told you, you can find this under the reports tab in Seller Central. Uh, the reports listed below are available to brand owners. Click on each link, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. All right, so let's 
first understand what are you looking at over here because if you don't understand what are you looking at on the screen you won't be able to really make sense of the data all right so the first thing that you will see over here is this column which says search rank frequency so right now it's telling you the first or the top search term right now on amazon is iphone 11 case which is actually pretty obvious because apple just launched their iphone right so uh, what is the definition of search rank frequency search rank free search frequency rank is the numeric rank of a product search terms popularity when compared to all the search terms during a given time period all right so as you as you remember and as you noticed uh, the time period selected over here was from the 29th of September to the 5th of October. So between that time frame, this is the top search term that's Amazon, uh, that is being searched on Amazon. This is the second top, this is the third top, and this is the fourth top search term that is being searched on Amazon. That's what this basically means. So in layman's term, the smaller the number is in this column, the higher the number of searches are happening for that particular keyword. After that, if you scroll this uh, table towards the right, you will see two more metrics that uh, will pop up. The first metric is called the number one click share metric and the second metric is called the conversion share metric. So what now Amazon is trying to tell you is that this particular listing over here, the first listing that is popping up uh, for the search term iPhone 11 case is getting about 11% of click shares 11% of clicks and 19% conversions. So what does it actually mean? It's, it's pretty complicated, but I've actually um, broken it down into a simple formula so that you can understand what does click share mean and what does conversion share mean. So let's take an example. Let's say we call this listing as listing X, okay? Let's say 100,000 people searched for iPhone 11 case, right? Of those 100,000 people who searched for iPhone 11 case, 70,000 people actually clicked on any one of the listings that came up after searching for iPhone 11 cases. Simple, right? Just remember that. Now, out of those 70,000 people who clicked on any of the listings on that page, let's say listing X, which is this listing, got 35,000 clicks, all right? So, listing X says, click share ratio would be number of clicks received by listing X divided by the total number of clicks that happened through any of the listings after searching that keyword into 100, all right? So basically it'll mean 35,000 divided by 70,000, which is the total number of clicks that happened after searching for iPhone 11 case in that time frame in 200, which means 50%. So basically in our example, this number would over here would become 50%. I hope that's simple. If you have any doubts, if you have any clarifications that you need, just let me know down below in the comments. And if you're enjoying this video and information that is that I'm bringing to you right now, which is basically the first video on YouTube, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for such amazing content in the future. All right, now let's look at what does conversion share mean? All right, this is the second column, the second most important data point that you will see in this brand analytics tool, all right? So uh, let's continue from our previous example. Let's say we are still considering listing X to be our listing. And let's say, uh, and as we know, 70,000 people actually reached the product detail page because 70,000 people clicked on any one of the listings of iPhone 11 search results, right? So let's say out of those 70,000 people, 20,000 people actually ended up purchasing a product, all right? 20,000 people purchased a product after they searched for iPhone 11 case. Of those 20,000 purchases, listing X got 35,000 purchases, all right? Let's consider listing X got 35,000 purchases. So the conversion share for listing X would be the conversions for that listing X divided by the total number of conversions that happened after people searched for iPhone 11 case times 100, which will give us 17.5%. So in our example, this number here would become 17.5%. So I know it's a bit complicated if, you have, if you're if you not dealing with data on a day-to-day -day basis. So just rewind the video and check it out again and you will definitely understand what I'm trying to tell you. Also, if you need any more examples or clarification, comment section. All right, 
so that was a quick demo about this tool in the next video i'm actually going to go to my seller central dashboard and show you how do you use this tool or how do i use this tool to understand the market trends so if you want to see that video please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell because i'll be posting that video in a couple of days time and you will be the first to get notified and access to that video all right so until next time this is rich signing off from republic of sellers